Back to breathing easy on public transport. France on Monday is to lift its mandatory mask requirements on metros, trains and planes. In the capital Paris, it's been expected for some time. There were plenty of people who didn't put it. There were plenty of people who respected their rules, so honestly, if you put it directly, it will be easier. I've had one fois the Covid, it was bien passé. So if I'm not obliged to put it, I won't put it. But many public transport users say they'll continue to wear the mask. Je suis une personne très fragile, donc j'ai pas envie les hospitalisations ne m'intéressent pas trop. Donc je pense que je vais continuer à le porter. Je suis habituée depuis deux ans à le porter, donc je vais conserver les bonnes habitudes, voilà. Here's the reason we'll soon be seeing faces again on the metro. A significant drop in daily infections compared to the peak of nearly half a million cases in one day in January. Ce qui est vraiment important, c'est que les gens qui sont malades, qui ont des symptômes ou qui sont qu'à contact d'un malade, eux le gardent parce que pendant quelques jours, ils peuvent être contagieux pour des personnes plus vulnérables et moins bien protégées. The European Aviation Safety Agency has also removed the mandatory mask recommendation in airports and on all flights. But this is where it gets complicated. Germany, for one, has said face coverings will remain obligatory on all flights taking off and landing in the country. Travelers may be left holding their breath as the authorities clear the air over their differences.